Hi everyone. So today I'm going to go through how to use Panopto to distribute a video through Blackboard, which can be very useful, especially in these times when we're moving to a lot of online content in order to complete the semester. So I'm not an expert by any stretch of the imagination, but I will share what very little I know. So consider this a very unofficial guide. Uh, so what is Panopto? Panopto is a video creation, hosting, and distribution platform. Uh, it has many components. Um, it is integrated into Blackboard, so it is a way that we can include video into our Blackboard content. Uh, for our particular campus, this is the preferred method for distributing video content to students through Blackboard, so it's a very useful tool to know something about. Uh, so the question, of course, is how do we use it? So here's the suggestions that I have. First off, uh, in order to place content into a course, the first thing to do is to create a content area in your course. So I'm going to go to my to Blackboard, and I'm going to choose a course just as kind of an example, I'll use my undergraduate research section. And to create a content area, I'm going to click on this plus and select content area, give it a name, we'll call it Panopto for lack of any kind of creativity. Now, I didn't select make this available to students, so the default is that this link is hidden from students, which is fine because there's nothing there that they need to be able to see. When I click on that, now that created just a regular content area where I could put all kinds of content in here. But what I really want to do is I want to go to Tools, the Tools area, Panopto. There we go. I'm going to select Panopto. Again, give it a simple name. I'll call it Panopto. I'll put some comment in here. and I will submit. And so I now have a Panopto area. So I go back here. So I have uh, a hidden link. I'm going to select Tools, select Panopto. And now when I click on that, it's going to open a Panopto session. So I click on that, and here it's opening Panopto. And there it is. Now, as, as of right now, I have no videos in this particular section. But what I can do is I can click on Create, and then I can either record a session here from my computer, Upload, Webcast, there's a number of different options. If I salute, select Upload, this is where I can drag and drop a video that I've already created, and it will deploy it here. Now, I'm not going to do that right now because I have already uh, done this in another section. So let's go to Physical Chemistry Laboratory, and I'm going to click on my Panopto section. Panopto, it's going to load, and here are some videos that I have uh, uploaded already. So there are a number of things that you can do. Uh, I'm going to use the videos that I've already uploaded, so let's try that. What I would like to do, I want to make my video a little bit more interactive. So I'm going to add a quiz to, to a video. So on the video, what I'm going to do is select the time at which I want the quiz to appear. So I'm going to use differential error propagation. And I want to edit this. Now I already know where I want the quiz to go. The time is going to be at 17 minutes and 13 seconds, roughly. So I select that time, and then I'm going to add a quiz. And the quiz question is going to be, why do we calculate the pieces? Now let's make that a little bit better contributing pieces separately. Let me 
now what? Done. There it is. So now I can ask them, they can retake it, show the grade. There's a number of different things. This is an important one. I can stop students from continuing with the video until they have completed the quiz. So great. I'm right, going to so hit I finish. Can lower this value and here. I don't really want to that see this, this right now. Uh, I'm going to leave that alone. So now here's what I want to do is I want to deploy this. So I've added a quiz. I select the type of quiz. Oh, we didn't look at the types of quizzes. But there are different types of quizzes that can be added. Uh, provide the content for the quiz. And uh, that should be all set to go. So um, the way that I have deployed this, the video will pause and the presentation won't, com won't continue until students have completed the quiz. Okay, great. So now what I would like to do is I want to deploy this in a particular assignment. So this assignment is one specifically about differential error propagation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Panopto link folder. So I'm actually going to close this just so I can start from scratch. I start, I go to Panopto, I select Panopto, it'll launch. And now what I can do is I want to select the video that I'm going to use. I'm going to click on settings. So I'm going to look at the settings for my differential error propagation video. And now what I would like to do is to share it. So I'm going to select share. Now there's a number of restrictions you can put on here. I believe this one will allow anybody in the course to see it, but limit it to just the course. But what I want to do is I want to embed this video. So I click embed, and then I have this embed code. This is an iframe code that's HTML. By clicking this button, I've copied that to my clipboard. So I click on embed, copy the iframe material to my clipboard. And now what I'm going to do, I'm done here, so I'm going to go to my assignment. I can close this and go to my particular assignment. So the assignment is down here, a differential error propagation, and I want to edit that assignment. And here's all kinds of information uh, that I've put into the assignment here. I'm going to use this editor. I'm going to click on HTML in order to find the HTML code, and I'm going to paste that iframe in a spot right where I think it makes some sense. So that's pasting the information that came from Panopto. I click Update. There's the placeholder for my assignment. If I go full screen, I can see, wow, yeah, that's kind of big. That's OK. It's actually not even going to be that shape when it's deployed because the, uh, so the height and width were indicated in the iframe code. So now I have to hit Submit to save that. And now when I look at my assignment, here is my video. Okay, great. So I navigate to the assignment, choose edit. On the editor, I clicked on HTML. I pasted the iframe code and make sure you change your, save your changes because um, that can be an issue. So uh, in addition, so great. So that's, that's fine. Um, if I go here to my Panopto link, and click on Panopto. Something to notice is that you can also download. And you can get this for both Windows and Mac. All I have to do is click on the download button over here. Uh, it knows I'm using a Windows computer with a 64-bit, but if I, for some reason, need to download it for something else, I can select that. Um, and then I can download and install and then I can do a number of things on my computer. Now, I'm not a big expert on that, uh, so I would suggest trying a few things out. Go ahead and experiment. Uh, you can create content using Panopto, uh, and I'm sure that there are a number of capabilities of which I am completely unaware uh, that you may find useful. So I would definitely suggest experimenting with that some. 
So there you go. That's just a quick crash course in using Panopto to deploy a video into course content, including adding a quiz. Uh, good luck with that, and well, good luck.